Hello everyone, this is The Cool Geek and in this video series, I'm just going to cover a brief overview of date function. Now before even I start introducing a function, let me just give you a brief background about what kind of dates we have uh, in Excel. Now, uh, for example, now if I just want to get a date, that is today's date and hard code it, instead of typing, I can just say simply control semicolon and press enter. Now if you see this, uh, you will be able to get a date, that is... Uh, uh, 8th May 2016 now if if I go to the formatting cells press control 1 and you will come to the number format and if you just change the format to general you will see that it is changing to a number now um, Excel stores dates in terms of a serial number and obviously wherever there is a mention of serial, uh, serial number you will obviously associate it with the beginning so let me say that you know zero is the beginning of that serial numbers that you want to start for dates what date would it be for zero so if I say control one and go back go to the date settings there and uh, change it to a particular date format like this so I say maybe zero zero is nothing but zero january 1900 so it is as you can see here the date is zero january 1900 now if i change that uh, put the same format for what i have here below you will see that it's becoming first january and if i put the same format again you will see that it will become second january so that's how excel stores dates it stores dates as a serial number now many a times you can come across dates like this where I am saying let's say 15, 15, 2016. So you can see that um, when I write this it is aligned towards the left hand side which is a string. And any dates or numericals they are usually aligned towards your right hand side and you, you will see that you know the alignment is uh, towards the right hand side that is when you just type it for the first time now 1515 obviously is a bad example for example let me just put as uh, maybe 3 so you, you see this is 15th march 2016 but if what if i reverse this what i put what if i put 15 and put 03 here now you'll see that you know this makes sense for us maybe it is 15th march 2016 when you intend to write it because you know there are different ways to type it so this will again consider it as it as a string so you need to ident quickly identify what format uh, your excel identifies I, I am in a format that is more indian in nature that is why we have the day then the month and then the uh, year format so watch your format and the quick identifier is that it should not be left aligned and that will be a string so uh, ensure that and another thing that you can also do is press control 1 and hit general and you will see that you have 42444 4, 4, which is a number and a serial number and that's a date but if i have 15 and 03 and then if i say control 1 and try to put a general format it will still remain a string and no matter what you do it will uh, still have this text so that's a basic way to look at dates in in a format that is seri uh, that is of a serial number and many in many excel functions you will see that you know we are using a serial number to uh, take as an input whereas it's supposed to be meant as a date do watch the next video where i introduce uh, some of the functions and quick tricks on how to look at date functions thank you